Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will implement latching. So let's start. Example 7. If switch 1 is on, then LED 1 and LED 2 will be on. If switch 1 is off, then LED 1 and LED 2 will be still on. If switch 2 is on, then LED 3 and LED 4 will be on. If switch 2 is off, then LED 3 and LED 4 will be still on. That means when switch 1 is turned on, 2 LEDs turn on. But when switch uh, 1 is turned off, LED 1 and LED 2 should have been turned off. But instead of that, they still remain on. Similarly, when switch 2 is on, LEDs uh, turn on. And when switch 2 is turned off, LEDs remain on instead of turning off. So to attain this, we will uh, use a concept known as latching. So what is latching? Let's see. So let's move to a TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram, implement latching and also do the simulation like this. So this is the interface of TI portal. Let's go to PLC tags, default tag table. So we have two switches. Let's say it's switch one. switch 1 and then switch 2 like this. Then we have 4 LEDs, LED 1, I will change the address to Q0.0. Uh, so we have 4 LEDs, so I will click on here and then drag it to like this. So LED 2, LED 3 and LED 4 will be automatically fetched. So let's minimize this. And I will go to program blocks and then main OB. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram and implement latching. So before that, I will insert a normally open contact for switch one. I will write switch one and then here. There will be two outputs, LED1 and LED2. So I will write L and select LED1 and then I will use L LED2. Or I can use the memory bit. So I will use this coil as memory bit. I will write M0.0. So it is a memory bit and then I will use this memory bit here, I will insert, I will open the branch and insert a normally open contact and then close the branch and I will assign address data as M0.0. .0. So when switch 1 is turned on, M0 gets through and when switch 1 gets off, M0 still remains true and we will use this M0 here as normally open contact. I will assign address data as M0.0. .0. And then here I will insert a coil and then I will open the branch here and then insert one more coil. These two coils will be for LED1 and LED2. LED2. So what happens is that when switch 1 is on M0 gets through and when M0 gets through LED1 and LED2 gets on and then And then when switch 1 gets off, M0 still remains true due to latching here. M0.0 .0 still remains on and when it remains on, LED1 and LED2 also remains on. And similarly for switch 2, I will insert a, a normally open contact and I will assign address to it as I0.1 that is switch 2. And then I will use this coil as memory bit that is M0.1. And then I will latch it here. I will open the branch like this and a normally open contact and then close. I will assign address to it as M0.1. So when switch, one, switch 2 is turned on, M0.1 gets true and when it is turned off, it remains still true. And we will be using this M0.1 here as normally open contact, I will assign address to it as M0.1 and then I will insert a coil here 
for LED 3 and then I will open the branch like this and one more coil for LED 4. So I will use this for LED 3 and this for LED 4. LED 4. So what happens is that when switch 2 is turned on, memory bits uh, gets on and when memory bits gets on, LED 3 and LED 4 turns on. And when switch 2 is turned off, M0.1 still remains on due to latching and when it is on, LED 3 and LED 4 do not turn off, it remains on. So let's do the simulation. I will start the simulation here. It is compiling the program. Load and then finish and then I'm going to start the CPU here and then monitoring on or off and then I will uh, go to the project view and let's create a new project here After that, we will go to simulation tables and simulation table 1. And then I will right click on here and load project tags. So all the tags are here. And then when I turn on switch 1, as you can see here, M0.0 .0 gets true. And when M0.0 .0 gets true, this LED1 and LED2 gets on. And then when I turn off switch 1, as you can see here, when I turn off switch 1, this memory bit M0.0 .0 still remains on. And when M0.0 .0 still remains on, it LED1 and LED2 also still remains on. And then when I turn on switch 2, when I turn on switch 2, switch 2 will turn on M0.1 and this M0.1 turns on LED 3 and LED 4. And when this switch 2 is turned off, as you can see here, due to latching, this M0.1 should have been turned off, but due to latching, it still remains on. And when it still remains on, LED 3 and LED 4 are still on. It was all about this example, latching, thank you for watching.